guys happy thursday welcome back to another throwback thursday on my channel some thursdays on my channel i like to throw back to an older game or an older show i used to watch and recommend it to you and this week i'm going to be talking about baton katen origins or baton katen origins baton katen origins whatever it's called i cannot pronounce the name of this game <laughs> But okay, if you're asking me, I pronounce it Batten Kane Origins, and it came out for GameCube in 2006. Now, it takes place with the character Soggy and his pair Magina Gilo. And in the intro of the story, you are in the Dark Service Army, and you are told by, your, by the captain at the time to kill the Emperor. So it's not something Soggy wants to do. In fact, he's in the Dark Service just to get the money so he can send it to his mom, but he knows he has to fight dirt he knows he has to do dirty work so he pretty much just says okay so he goes to the emperor's palace with the with the dark service army and they're told they tell soggy and gilo to go into the room first and then they will follow and then they will kill the emperor again so when they walk into the door they hear something they hear a noise inside they hear someone else talking to the emperor they're like oh who's, who's that and then before they walk in the person leaves the room he's, he just walks out he's just like oh excuse me and just leaves and when they walk in they find out that the emperor is dead and they know that the person who left the room killed him but that's when the dark service barges in the room and basically they found out they were being set up by the army because they're like oh you killed the emperor this isn't right we told you not to do it so basically they found out they were being set up by the army to kill the emperor for some reason for a, some, some ulterior motive but they're basically being blamed and labeled as traitors for killing the emperor and they escape from the palace and as they're escaping they find out that the army is looking for them so they can take them back and they can be killed the murder of the emperor obviously this is not good and they found out that they were being used the whole time so they make a plan to basically make a beeline for the door, get on a, a, a boat of some sort so they can go back home. As they're exiting the city, they run into a they, they run into Giacomo, who's a dark service soldier, and he's trying to stop them from escaping. So they fight him, and as they're fighting, Millie, which is your third player, jumps in and basically saves you almost. And you guys run away together. You, as the character of the game, you play as his spirit. So as a, as a spirit, so you play as his like his spirit inside. So only Soggy can hear your voice, but you can hear everyone else's, and you're interacting with everyone in the game. But Soggy's the only one that can hear your voice, and you have to make sure you're you you're on the same page with them and give them good advice because how your relationship and how you communicate affects how you battle together, the story, and how you overall communicate. So you want to make sure you and Soggy are always on the same page. But while they're on the boat on the way to, on the way going home. They, on, on the way going home, Varys reaches out to Soggy and he's like, hey, come back to the, the city and if you work for me, I can clear your name so you won't be labeled as a traitor anymore, but you have to work for me. So he, upon hearing that, Soggy goes back to the city, talks to Varys and finds out that if he works for him, he can clear his name. So he agrees, but while doing that, he has to work for him. So he has to stop pro machination collect these umbras and give him support because he's trying to run for he's trying to run for emperor at the time so basically he went from working for dark service to working for another dude who's using them for his own ulterior motives that don't become clear until the end so the game is really long and complex but i just try to keep it short so you guys can at least get the drift but when you play the game it makes sense this game is actually the sequel to the game that came out before which is called Batten, Kato's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. That came out in 2004 for GameCube. And in my opinion, that game has better graphics than this game. It has some, some quirks in the game that I'm not a fan of, but I played that game too and beat it. And that story is really good. That game also got high reviews for best GameCube game at the time. And then when this game came out, it came out in 2006. Batten Kane Origins 2006 for GameCube. It was labeled as the last greatest gem for GameCube. It was like that good of a game. So yeah, both games are really good. I enjoyed the first one that came out, but this game, this the origins of the game I'm talking about, this game takes place before the first game came out, if that makes sense. 
so you by playing this game you find out what the story behind the first one who my parachute is where these characters came from and Callus's story but yeah I enjoyed the first game besides the story and the characters like Soggy who's a sword user who uses swords to fight he's one of the strongest players in the game in terms of overall strength and killing enemies one-on-one -on -one in close combat and then you fight with Gilo and she uses magic to fight now it's not really clear Gilo is a man or a woman but she speaks with two voices I like to say she because she kind of like acts feminine <laughs> but she fights with magic and she's probably the strongest in terms of magic power out of all three of them because she can literally knock out a whole like she can literally knock out three enemies at one time with her attacks and her magic she's a valuable player in the game i enjoy using her to fight and millie she's good at attacking enemies in close range and far away so she uses these twin weapons where she can literally jump on an enemy and flip on them do these weird quick well not weird but she does these quick kick feet moves with her hands and these twin weapons and she's really good at fighting as well i enjoy using her but gilo is probably my top favorite in terms of fighting now you you battle the game has unique fighting style so you fight with these decks called magnus Ma magnus throughout the whole game you use magnus so you'll learn quickly throughout the game about magnus how to use it and how to absorb certain things from it with these cards you can absorb certain elements items through it and fight with them or use them for overall quests or for soggy and the team and the story of the game and then in battle you can't control what cards come through so depending on your relationship with soggy it will affect what cards come through the deck and you can fight with them the battle style as you can see for yourself in the clips i'm showing you it's very unique and it's easy to get into so you'll learn how to fight and it makes fighting really enjoyable. I enjoyed using the decks. You can discard which which cards you don't want to use. You can rearrange them in order so you can fight with a light, medium, a strong attack and then pair it with the weapon and also pair it with a special move so you can really, really take out these enemies and make fighting more enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. I enjoyed the game. I really did. And it has a, a fun twist in the end with the ending. So if you, so what you think you know, you don't know. Does that make sense? So yeah, when you play this game, keep your mind open, keep a, keep, keep a clear head, and realize that this game is really good. Asking me to rate this game out of 10, I would give this game a seven and a half. Yeah, I would give this game a seven and a half. Yeah, I recommend this game to you. And I hope you like it. Um, let me know in the comments if you've heard this game before. If you've heard of the game that came before it. Batten, Kato's Eternal Wings, and Lost Ocean. And if you played that game, I enjoyed that game. I may do a video talking about that game alone because it deserves its own throwback. And I enjoyed the characters in that game. Like I said, that one was produced by Namco. They're both produced by Nintendo. But Namco made that one specifically. And the graphics on that one were really good. I wish they kept that up with this. With Origins, actually. But... <laughs> Overall, the game was good. I, I, have, I have no complaints. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you heard this game or if you want to go check it out or if you thought this game was good or not. And that's the end of the video. So thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far, um, I post every I post videos every Thursday and Sundays on my channel. Come check me out on my social medias. I post uh, video games and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera on there. So if you want to follow me on there and keep up the conversation, let's do it. So. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Don't forget to play a video game. And I'll see you next time with another video.